Welcome back to the fire. There's Pokemon Z. In the last episode, we got to this place here. Um, I don't actually remember what I did last episode. You guys just gotta watch it to find out. Oh, I remember. We got this island, and now we're gonna take on some bunch of pirates. But, that's what we're gonna do. Hope we get our next medal and see if we can finally get our starter evolved. So, he's going up front. With, uh, Raichu. So let us make our way over. So let us. Our uh, game's so all glitchy. But what are you gonna do? Let us take this person on. But I've been noticing still that my game still desyncs audio with the music and the audio from the game to the actual video and my voice. So I don't know what's going on. If anyone knows what's going on, please let me know. It will be greatly appreciated. But we'll see what happens. I mean, some of you still seem to be sticking around watching my stuff. My videos even though it's probably not the best quality which I appreciate but it is what it is so let's go from there this way turn that one turn that one we have videos in the future what my goal is um, my goal is to do a load, a load, load, load of recording between the end of this month and August, because when September comes, depending on when SBO goes up, I might have a new job. So I don't know what's going to happen from there, because it is going to be a pretty good job. So I don't know what's going to happen with this. I'm going to hopefully try to be able to stay in tune with my YouTube stuff. But it all varies. It all depends on how the channel is, what's going on. If there's any games I want to play that I want to bring content to you guys. So that is really the questions of what's going to happen. Like, I don't know for now. It is still a mystery. But I'm hoping to get enough being spelling and other videos, we'll see what happens. Like, the reduction of videos might just be the change. Maybe, um, I might do certain videos, like, recording maybe, like, once a month. Do editing. Maybe I'll just do, like, a full weekend of just recording, and then another weekend I'll do editing. Have enough for a few days, then the next month I'll do another. I don't know yet. Um, but we'll see what happens. Like, I, I can't predict what's gonna happen in the future. Because my goal for this was to hopefully... Build up the channel, hopefully get maybe enough to maybe make this a side thing, but with how I- Ooh! Falvin, sweet. Ooh! Wow! Whoa! That's sick! I love that! Thorn shot. Ooh. Get a beetle arm for that. I like that. Um, but we'll see what happens. But that was my goal for this channel. I was hoping to grow, get bigger. And I'm seeing people that, not even other PokeTubers, but other people, they're like, oh, I've been on YouTube this amount, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to cut back or I might quit. But, I mean, I came into it <laughs> very late. Like, I kind of wish I got into this sooner. But what are you going to do? You live and you learn. So I can't believe I got this guy. Alright, so that's the red. So... So we want to take that off. Turn the blue. Or not. Oh, 
Oh wait, maybe I have to. I see what's going on. Turn the green. Turn the red again. Turn that again. Go over here. So basically, you gotta do a big circle. Turn the bell! Really? Let me just get out of here. I just want to get out of here. Oh, crying out loud. Why has it got to be so difficult just to do one simple thing? Alright. Uh, oh, that's... Oh, wait. I can actually deal with that now. Bop. Get. Wrecked. Wild charge. New. No, thank you. Kilowatt troll will stay in. Thorn shot again. I like this guy. Oh, we can walk. Okay, that's cool. Wait, do I have a water type? I don't. Maybe I'll grab a torpedo. Come here, you. I wanna. Come here. Oh, we can't be caught. Oh, that's a bummer. Ooh, big pearl money. Oh, fully. Oh, come on. Really, Sharpedo? Come on! It's like he goes everywhere. They're like sporadic. Really? What bullshit? Come on! Got it. Holy shit! Oh, you are about to die. Bye. I learned that move at the perfect time. Sweet. See ya. Pretty sure I have a. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Let's go. What do you got? With 10 guns per side, wind in full sail. The sea does not cut, and if it does not fly, one sherry, you have come. How was the experience of facing my crew? They are the best comrades a captain could ask for, right? But now you find yourself pushed with four lotus, the demon of the seas and skies, and I add expert in double combat, my love. But you have come this far, fear will not make you hesitate now. Shall we begin then? You must know that I am not a simple buccaneer in search of gold and fame. I am the man who will one day outwit death himself, and when I do, I will also be the greatest Pokemon master on land, sea, and air. I tell you this because I think you are more like me than you think, Monsieur. You will soon see how much we are alike. I like that. That's cool. Let's immediately get that Hans Pro out of here.
surprise you. A little bit of a disappointment, my dear. My dude! Well, that did nothing. Well, that was easier than I thought. Impressive, you got away with it. It's not every day you defeat a demon, you know. We had an implanted deal, and I'm going to keep it, my love. Yours is the metal of this city, the Typhoon Metal. Let's go! I tell you, you are something interesting. These metals are not simple decorations. I've been studying them a little, and they have kind of an internal mechanism, as if they were the key to something. Curious, isn't it? I'll leave you to discover the rest, mon chéri. So much combat has whipped my appetite. I take the day off with the Galvan Rose Tavern. After all, I still won't, don't want to leave these shores until I get a certain item. Turn the locks from time to time, too, eh? The Pokemon really appreciate it. Ah. Ew. I see that you don't waste time, Fire. Everywhere I go, rumors about your exploits never stop reaching me. Since you already have my trust, the time has come for me to make you a full participant in my noble mission. There is a back room in the Gunbun Rose Tavern. Come with your two friends, and I'll fill you in on everything what I have found. Uh oh. That can't be good. Actually, I kind of want to find. Nope, that's not what I wanted. F5. Opex type. Land. Interesting. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to send a fire type. It's, um, what's I'm gonna call it? Start sorting. What's up, guys? Actually, let's go over here real quick. Oh, nope, wrong one. You're a hero, Monshaw Fire. Thank you, my city will breathe some peace for a while. At least if those revolutions don't have fall crazy. Ah, do you want a reward? But what are my matters? And if you could leave me so, if you, you're so kind, could you leave my room? You smell like a salt pater. Well, that was just plain rude. Ooh, item. I will take these off your hands. Thank you very much. Okay, there. No, nothing. Okay, in we go. Oh, that is wide open now. That can't be good. Ah. Thank you for coming so quick, Fire. Mm. You have chosen a curious headquarters for Operation Master Mirror. <sighs> and have you seen that they serve magic or How outrageous! Every cook knows that you have to evolve into the Gyarados so that the meat is more tender. There are a few places left where the presence of a clerk of the Eternal Tree goes unnoticed. In fact, I'm practically the last clerk left, but no one has rebunked me in a tavern full of pirates and seers. 
Well, my friends, pay attention. I've taken the liberties of collecting all the information we know so far about Team Atlas. Of course, we have Alka, the mastermind behind these evildoers. For what I found out, he is a person of humble origins, but somehow he has developed a plan whose purpose would be to destroy the cycle of life and death. Affirming a strange couple is Master Lanto. It seems that his function is to provide infinite money to the cause because he gets very bored. Then we have, we have Nebula, who seems to be in charge of the alchemist experiments that are being carried out with the Pokemon. Such experiments have led to the spread of disease in Pokemon knows known as expired state, causing enormous suffering. And there is Wolfram, a whippersnapper who has served as a link for Team Athos, has access to secret documents of Kal's Alchemist's Academy. Thanks to these documents, they have managed to advance their experiments and bring certain Pokemon to life, although in an unstable way. I fear that there is still one last leader of Team Athos who has an identity we do not know. Someone who, if my information is correct, will be the most lethal servant of Alica, a master of poisons and of administrating death. If we cut off the five heads of this sinister Hydra, we will have one. Mm. There's an important matter in this that we must take into consideration, Master Mira. Throughout our journey, we have seen how Team Athos becomes involved in one way or another in revolution against the king. Sometimes they even instigate it and let it themselves. Mm. The question is, what interest do they have in getting into a mess of such proportions? The truth is that I will not be the one who opposes this change in social order, but... Yeah. How, how come you're not opposed? Do you seriously support those revolutionaries? They're just looking to set fire to nice houses and steal and cause chaos. If they win, there'll be no more dancing parties, no more, no good food, no silk sheets, oh. no. The only one who has, has slept on silk sheets in this room is you, Malia. You have lived in a bubbled alien to reality your entire life. It is normal for you to see it that way. Oh. Master Cristiano is right. In the nation of free citizens, we all have access to our own Pokemon, companions to defend ourselves and be masters of our own destiny. What sense does it make it to continue with this obsolete regime? But, going back to what we said before, Team Athos is trying to take advantage of the situation. Alka mentioned in his last speech that the next objective will be Lumia's palace, the very residence of the king. But why so eager to seize power? How does it help them to reach the throne? That is something that escapes me, to tell the truth. It is possible that... Do you have any ideas, Master Cristiano? Speak, please. Well, yeah, the question may be a scrap of it to you, but does Lumilia Palace hide any secrets? Any Pokemon, artifact, or ancestral knowledge? Something related to the internal, the divine, and those things that seem to obsess Alaka? Something that can be used for evil? Of course not! The Lumilia Palace is a wonderful place and full of light. And of course, legends circulate, as in any great old building, but they are only fairy tales. There is, for example, the ghost of the lustful Hypno, the curse of serving peaches on Thursdays, the secret chambers of the former King Malvo. What is this about the secret chamber of King Malvo? Well, a stupid thing is scary. The Shadow King Malvo spend his final years studying the eternal tree and the guardian Pokemon who lived in it. Well, legend tells that the fog on one of his trips to the tree on which his four trusted knights accompanied him, he encountered something unexpected. Something he took back with him and hid in the underground chambers of Lumia Palace. A lustrous, eternal secret capable of changing the world. Ah, <laughs> uh, a lustrous, eternal secret capable of changing the world. But ah, that's what we're looking for. I have no doubt that Alga knows that legend and wants to check if it is true. That's why he wants to lead the revolution, to have free reign to investigate the Lumilia Palace. It makes sense, yes. Perhaps Alga needs that secret to fulfill and set ambitions. Ah, which brings us to the fact that we might, that we have to join the king to defend him from the revolutionary, see? 
A crown is lost with or without our help. It is only a matter of time, but the avalanche of change will cause it to fall. I agree. The only way for us to try to prevent Alka from assessing the secret chamber, and at the same time ensure that the revolution has a positive inclusion for the region. You are wise, Christiana. When your steps lead to the Vion City, we will join together to infiltrate the palace. Be it so, Master Mayor, we have to ensure that power falls into the hands of good people. Let's become the gears of a better Pokemon world. This is an outrage, an all-out conspiracy! I'm thinking of telling the professor of your little games. You're not gonna join this complete foil, are you, Fire? You have more sense. Hey. Aren't you gonna say anything? Well, fine! You'll both go to the professor. Oh boy. So I think that's a good spot to wrap up this episode. In the next one, we will make our way up to the palace. But thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and feel free to leave any comments in the comment section, especially if you have any ideas of what's going on with the videos. But with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode.